John, we are absolutely ecstatic to announce that we're going to reopen tomorrow, Sunday, September 8th, under normal operating hours and normal conditions. And the public can come out and play golf tomorrow? Absolutely. Tee sheets are open. You can go online and book now. You can go on our Facebook page, track the recent updates, and book from there. Uh, you know, in reality, John, we could have probably opened today, but we wanted to be sure to take that extra day so when our customers arrive, there is no awareness, no reminiscence of the storm. Their experience would not be compromised. We can provide them with that memorable experience when they visit River's Edge. I got to tell you, looking around, it doesn't even look like anything hit this area. Our team has done a phenomenal job. We have an outstanding maintenance crew, great staff. They were on site at 7 a.m. Friday morning, beginning cleanup. It's been a nonstop effort while the sun's been up and cleaning and removing debris. Uh, once again, phenomenal job by the entire team. And I can confirm, at 7 o'clock, I saw them out there. So what actually did happen here? I mean, I mean, the, the greens look like they're in great shape. The bunkers you're working on, mm -hmm. um, I didn't see any trees down. Was there any damage at all? You know, we are very fortunate here in the community of River's Edge. We did, relative to some of our neighboring communities, uh, have minimal damage. You know, um, we had widespread tornadoes throughout the area. We were very lucky not to have any damage from those um, instances. Uh, you know, we had pretty much 70 mile an hour, mid 70 gusts here at, at River's Edge. It was enough to, to wobble the house and, and shake you a little bit, but the, the golf course held up like a champ. Absolutely amazing. A couple minor trees down, uh, pretty much everything we were able to remedy between uh, Friday and today. Will the kitchen and the uh, bar restaurant be open too? Absolutely. When we reopen tomorrow, everything will be normal uh, as it was prior to the hurricane. Like I said, our customers will have no awareness that we went through this storm. Uh, the kitchen will run a full menu, regular operational hours. Golf shop opens at 7 a.m., tea box opens at 8, and the kitchen opens at 11. So our customers will receive the full River's Edge treatment. All right, so should folks call in? Should they log in online? What should they do? They can take any, any number of um, routes to get on the books. Uh, our call center is live and fully staffed, taking reservations now. They can go on the website, book online. They can go on our Facebook page and book online. Uh, we do have limited staffing on site. However, all these distribution channels have the current information, the current specials, and can book reservations any time of the day. So the ninth hole will still be tough, though, even though the hurricane is left. Absolutely, and wouldn't <laughs> be any other way. All right. Real briefly, talk about the fact, um, the preparations, not only leading into this hurricane, but also the preparations that you guys have been dealing with, especially over the last two or three years, because we've had some tough weather here. And I'm seeing this not only here, but I'm seeing it the whole Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, that you guys are actually more prepared now for any weather event. We are, and you know, and that doesn't come easily. There is a team of superintendents and maintenance crew uh, between general managers and directors of each facility that, you know, we have all of the procedures and protocols in place. You know, we're aware that these areas uh, are going to be hit by storms. It's out of our control. So all we can do is put together a protocol that uh, we can activate leading into a storm to help secure the facility, and then one that immediately upon once it's safe for staff to travel uh, to restore the facility. And, and within the whole Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, where there's just a team of experts that we all work together and help feed off of uh, ideas and, and make sure that we set the proper plans in place uh, so our customers are not impacted. And the beauty of the whole thing is really, you lost two or three days in September, which is great fall golf, right. and moving ahead, I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, weather forecast is outstanding. Uh, we expect, despite the, um, you know, some of the local communities that were hit a little harder, we expect tee sheets to fill in, and, uh, you know, we're about in golf season now, so we're full steam ahead. This is just a small speed bump for us. It's something that we prepare for, that we deal with on, you know, on an annual basis, so uh, we'll open tomorrow and be full steam ahead and not look back.